Okay, plastic number six. This is recycling code six. This is PS or polystyrene. Styrene is, is an alkene. <clears throat> it's phenylethylene. So here is our monomer. Anytime we start with alkenes, you know we're going to do an addition reaction. So this is an addition polymer. And we get this as our repeating unit. It's really a polyethylene just with a phenyl dangling off of every other carbon. Um, polystyrene is found in lots of materials. When I was growing up, most, um, most fast food restaurants packaged uh, their premium burgers and such in polystyrene uh, containers. So uh, an old use was food containers. And this is uh, these food containers, they were kind of foam. And this gave rise to, this is actually a trademark name, styrofoam. And you can still find this in coffee cups, uh, some styrofoam coffee cups. Not everybody uses new style coffee cups. They use these old foam coffee cups. Uh, they're lightweight. Um, they insulate well, uh, and they are recyclable, but they do generate a lot of plastic waste. So that's a classic use for um, polystyrene. But now these get used in all kinds of things. Um, you, the, it does, isn't just made with foam. It actually can be made rigid. So you can make things like, um, you know, plastics for jewelry. Not that the plastics for jewelry market is huge, but that just, you know, this is kind of r rigid plastic. So styrofoam doesn't have to be this foamy material. It, it, styrene, polystyrene doesn't have to be foamy material. It can also be a rigid plastic. Anyway, it, it, it's found in, in all kinds of uses in consumer goods. So if you ever turn something over and it has a recycling code number six, it is polystyrene. And it's an addition polymer.